Welcome back, y'all. Um, now that our corn is finally picked, guess what it's time for? I've got it dissed up, and it's time to plant our cover crop. Um, so I'm using a little some, something a little different here that I've never used before. Um, this is a mixture that I bought at my local seed dealer, and it's called Raise Crazy Fall Mix. It's got all that stuff right there in it. It says winter pea, tri-kill, oats, hairy vetch, crimson clover, annual ryegrass, kale, radish, and I think that's about it. But anyways, I'm hoping this stuff right here does a little better on this poor soil that's up here because straight crimson clover does okay, but it don't give me that top growth that I really want um and i'm after that top growth so i can work some organic material back into the soil so i'm hoping with this being that it's got the oats and the tri-kill or however you say that stuff that i'm going to get a whole lot of top growth and have something that i can till back into the soil and give me a lot more organic matter in this soil so that's kind of what i'm after right now anyways i've got the field disc up I've got everything ready. I'm just going to sling the seed out and then run my disc back over it to work those seed into the ground. And we'll be done with it. But it's going to take me a minute because I'm going to spread it all with just my spreader here. So let's get this stuff loaded up. There we go. There's all kinds of mixture of stuff in there. You can see the peas, see the oats. And I'm guessing those other seeds there look like coated seeds. So that's probably the um, clover and the radishes and everything else that's in there. So this looks like a really nice mixture. The recommended rate is one bag per acre. But so I have an acre field right here, but I'm actually gonna go put two bags per acre on this because Y'all know, like I've said before, when I do a cover crop, I want coverage. So I want to make sure I've got it good and thick. That way, it also allows some, if the wildlife or whatever comes in here and eats on it, well, it's not, you know, hopefully there's enough to go around. Well, y'all, the hard part's done. I got the seed put out there, and uh, I'm gonna tell you, it's hard walking a spreader across the plowed field. You realize just how out of shape you are, that's for sure. Um, man, I thought I was in better shape than that, but I had to catch my breath here for a second before I started talking to y'all. <laughs> but now comes the easy part. I'm gonna take the disc, and uh, you see how they're angled? I'm going to run them straight. I'm getting ready to show you how I'm going to do that. And that will just barely cover those seeds up enough that, uh, that they'll get the coverage they need. And uh, we'll be able to roll with it. And that'll be all that needs to be done. So you can see this adjustment right here. I'll screw that out and that'll straighten these back ones. Same thing for the front ones here. So before it gets dark, I'm going to hurry up and get this done. So you can see now how they're running pretty much straight. That'll kick just enough dirt up to 
cover the seeds we've got out here on the ground. And just, that right there is all you need. So, let's get this thing knocked out and get to the house. Well, y'all, as you can see, it got dark on me. But you know what? That's why they put lights on tractors. For people like us who's gonna work after dark. Especially this time of year. But anyways, that's one more thing off of the to-do of to list. And uh, now let's keep our fingers crossed for get some rain. And that this cover crop does well, so we have something good to turn back into the soil in the springtime. But, um, Anyways, y'all, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you on the next one.